uh, don't forget that you can summon them uh, even though some of them are da oh my god I'm in Toulouse oh, it doesn't matter yeah see I have lost this fight and I have lost my kingdom basically welcome to idle games TV and we're going to check out merge tactics over here now not necessarily an idle game but it has the auto fight option on you're going to need to merge a lot of soldiers you get the idea now you're going to have your main kingdom you're going to be able to watch some ads in order for you to increase the gold coins that you're going to be able to get i didn't play it that much but definitely you need to try this game now if you're going to jump into the battle you're going to be able to place up to four types of units in your deck that's going to be the trick so you need to place the better ones that you have found until then so if you're going to jump into the fight you're going to see that they're going to merge level up basically from level one to level two and so on you have three objectives in every map and the idea would be obviously to kill and survive all of those waves most probably two waves three waves four waves depends on how much will you play now you can buy your units with silver coins every time you're going to jump into the battle the idea would be to start the next level the next level now you're going to next wave my bad you're going to have scrolls now with those scrolls you're going to be able to unlock a new slot try to use the scrolls as fast as you can although i didn't use it when it was necessary try to use the scrolls okay every time you're going to have the scrolls try to get a new uh, pocket of land over there because guys if you're going to get one more land eventually you will win how different kind of uh, uh, maps over here require you to find a specific thing on those spots so if you're going to conquer a new spot a new spot eventually you will find what you need but also you will get different kind of artifacts and also different kind of uh, uh, silver coins that you're going to need to buy new and new troops in order for you to actually get stronger and stronger keep in mind use those scrolls in order for you to unlock all the terrain slots that you need in order for you to be able to kill the enemy now you're going to need a lot of slots in order for you to actually uh, be able to buy new and new um, it is a scroll over here now this one offers me the possibility to buy a new land over there quite nice now i'm going to place these guys over here i'm going to merge you and right now i'm going to buy these guys over here in order for them to level up okay now until they're going to finish their level up here it is 2v2 okay now i'm going to buy this guy over here bear with me guys and that's it no 5v5 3v3 and here it is Nah, that's it okay now i'm going to start wave 5 now eventually you're going to need to merge them by themselves because they will not see each other and you will not auto merge but try to merge them as fast as you can move to the next wave next wave next wave that's how you're going to be able to win all of those fights actually get the enough gold coins that you need in order for you to level up your troops because if you're going to get enough gold coins and enough fragments you're going to be able to uh, get better and better uh, uh, units over here in order for you to do the more and more damage now different kind of troops over here are able to attack your enemy in different kind of uh, positions if i may say so some of your troops over here have the possibility to attack only in a straight line some of them have the possibility to attack in uh, an x shape or in a triangle it depends on the troops that you're going to have so you do need to look really really close to your troops and what exactly they can do if you will see that they are not good for you you can restart and replay that specific level it's not necessarily a bad thing but you need to figure out a good good strategy in order for you to kill your enemy in order for you to move forward that what is called merge tactics a decent enough gameplay definitely if you have played it let me know in the comments below not necessarily that hard if you have played it as i mentioned let us know your tips your guides regarding this game uh, a game that uh, will keep you in it for a while if you hadn't uh, played uh, similar games definitely this would be a good way of starting the merge games uh, this is a uh, not necessarily an rpg game but definitely you will have a lot of heroes that you're going to be able to collect different kind of rarities from what i saw over here 
definitely a lot a lot of features that you're going to be able to complete now regarding the terrain that you're going to be able to unlock as further as you go uh, here it is uh, uh, oh my god i have shield on my troops right now uh, regarding on the troops that you're going to be able to build over here on the lands that you will be able to unlock uh, not here in the campaign you're going to be able to win the fight my bad in a challenge mode uh, mistaken this so in the challenge mode you're going to be able to win automatically a fight when you're going to discover a specific uh, thing over there so that's why you're going to be able to no here it is a nice nice ad that you can uh, watch it will revive uh, your uh, dead soldiers if i'm saying it correctly i'm not gonna watch it for now uh, right now i'm going to go for a tank in the front in order for it to be strong enough here it is five with five and i'm going to go for you guys crossbows okay three with three i'm going to go four three with three no i have four with four over there so you come on ages four with four here it is five with five now keep in mind you're going to need eventually to merge them a bit because they cannot see each other don't know why they do not have eyes or whatever now you're going to have also this uh, this skill over there up to 40 seconds uh, you will be able to get a decent amount of silver coins you can decrease that time depending on how much you play you're going to be able to decrease that time eventually you're going to have the possibility to watch some ads over here you got some blessings basically a higher level of merge so now right now although they have level 3 if i would watch that ad they will be level 4 that's going to be the trick but i'm going to start the next wave doesn't matter so depending on how much you will play you will be able to unlock new any features you know the idea similar things like in all uh, games uh, you will be able to unlock new and new features and eventually you're going to be able to find new and new troops that are stronger than the previous ones that are going to help you even more and even more now although i have started this wave and didn't unlock all of those plots that i am able to use uh, right now some of my <coughs> soldiers are getting their ass kicked but uh, don't forget that you can summon them uh, even though some of them are the oh my god i'm going to lose oh, it doesn't matter yeah see i have lost this fight and i have lost my kingdom basically this is the first time that i failed but it doesn't matter okay now i'm going to go back and you're going to have other modes that you can play this game also okay yeah you have lost okay see upgrade buildings in the city okay i know the idea okay go over here upgrade blocks i know dude come on commander okay the commander part now honestly right now i have unlocked only the first commander uh, try different stages dude i already played this okay of course oh my god it has such a big mouth okay let me see the loot here it is every time you're going to fight you're going to find new and new come on dude you're going to find new and new units now here is the commander now you're going to be able to find new and new commanders and different kind of commanders have different kind of uh, uh, skills now the commander if you're going to upgrade him this is the guy that offers me material supply every time i'm going to upgrade him depending on the medals here it is i'm going to tear him up to level three. Oh my god three stars mm, and oh nice nice equipment over here don't forget you can change it depending on the equipment that you're going to choose i'm going to put a bow hp2 attack 150 change definitely better this one okay you're going to find a lot of equipment over here are the blocks that you're going to be able to unlock as you can see quite quite a lot so it's definitely a long way for this game uh, depending on the level you're going to be able to see that the sun that uh, or is it required from you to um, summon this specific uh, soldier over here not necessarily will increase that much from what i saw none of the sums will increase but let me know in the comments below if you have played it and you saw that these things will increase it is the shaman so specializes in casting stats effects on enemies such as weakness and poison now, as you can see uh, oh, he will obviously show you on how many uh, squares does uh, he uh, is he able to cast his spell uh, for example shaman a wide wide range over here okay now this is the shaman now the bomber over here as you can see in a straight line upper lower left and right that's it okay so this is not necessarily a good one now this guy over here only in the front and up to three blocks so you need to watch out what will you use over here okay 
Like for example, this guy over here, it's low. I mean, come on. This is the worst thing that you can place in your team. Most probably at first you will use it, most probably. Now this guy over here, let's see. Here it is, really, really low. This guy over here, decent enough, decent enough. This guy over here, really low, and this is a bar. So basically, it will uh, heal you up a bit. And no, he will increase your uh, attack for friend block. So it will increase your attack. He will buff you a bit. Keep that in mind. Now over here, you're going to be able to increase your cast level, but it tells you that you need wizard tower level 9. Oh my god. I need to do a lot of upgrades over here. And you will only have one builder. But in order for you to build... A second thing, if you're going to watch the ad, you're going to be able to build second building, level up second building and so on. You're going to have different kind of quests that you're going to be able to fulfill, different kind of achievements that eventually you're going to be able to fulfill over here. You're going to have the loot. So uh, at least for me right now, I am able to send up to two guys in different kind of missions, okay? Now, if I'm going to send them in the missions, they're going to bring me different kind of chests with different kind of loot. And obviously they're going to take a while until they're going to bring me that specific uh, chest here it is one hour you will have different kind of missions one hour mostly of them at least at the beginning one hour if you're going to put real money in the game is going to be up to you obviously a lot of offers a supply crate if you're going to watch up to 10 ads it has a decent amount of cooldown but that's going to be up to you now guys if you have played it and finished it drop a comment let me know in the comments below how much did you play over here don't forget to watch the ad and obviously it's going to be easier you're going to have challenges over here uh, if you're going to play in the challenges this is where you're going to be able to get more and more rewards please try to unlock new and new ground in the challenges because definitely it will be helpful for you in order for you to win the war faster with the enemy here it is up to two waves Let's hope the time A. Oh my god, this is really, really... Mm, I don't know if I've played over here, but... Okay, I have survived. Okay, that's decent enough. Here it is, a farmer. Okay, a dwarf, my bad. Okay, start. Final wave. Let's hope that I will survive. Remember the song, I will survive, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Right now I'm just moving my finger in order for me to actually buy everything that I can. It is I have one. Okay. Nice. Okay, medals, a lot of rewards. Move forward, 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 you get the idea. Okay, let's go back over here. And let me show you the last challenge. Come on, go back. Challenge over here. Now, depending on the day, different kind of challenges that are going to be able to unlock. So keep that in mind, you do want to play at least 5 challenges daily in order for you to get the best reward that you can, okay. Okay, here it is, come on. Dude, move you over here, you over here, start. Uh, help, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to keep that guy alive and he will offer you something, but let's hope that I will not die at the, at the last. Come on, come on, okay. Okay, so you're surrounded and I uh, victory. Okay, awesome. Now I'm not going to play it anymore. So I hope you get the idea. Now if you have played it and reached further, drop a comment. Let me know in the comments below how much did you play over here. Definitely a nice game. Emerge tactics. Definitely interesting. A lot, a lot of things that you can get in the mail as well. So please play this game. Guys, be safe out there. Drop some comments with other idle games. Not necessarily merch. Idle games. Take care. Bye.